Hi, I'm Robin Robinson, and I'm just hanging out with some of my friends here. I just wrote and illustrated a new book called This Book is My Best Friend, and I would love to make some introductions. Do you want to read along with me? This book is my best friend, hey, Robin Robinson. And the book that they're holding is called Factory Friends. We have a little, little vignettes here of our two main characters rushing away from their guardians. And here they've met. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I need this book. I'm sorry, but I need this book too. This says librarians pick, go wild. Readers pick, read aloud. Parents pick. You don't understand. This book is my best friend. I knew from the first time I read the first word. See? Robot. I love robots. The book says, Robot worked all day in the cookie factory. I'm going to be a robot when I grow up. And here's all kinds of wonderful grown-up jobs that Sunny imagines a robot could do. Like being a librarian. Or a crossing guard. Or a pizza oven? <laughs> Excuse me. This book cannot be your best friend. Because this book is my best friend. I love this book to the very last word, which is mouse, my favorite animal. Sometimes I like to pretend to be a mouse while I read this book. Technical difficulties. There we go. I see, but there's only one book, and there are two of us. Well, then, you just need a new best friend. But. How about this one? There's a mouse in it. Dottie tried to read me that book, but it was too scary. This book is nice and calm. Nice and calm, but this book is so exciting and fun. When Mom feels well enough to do sound effects, reading together feels like we're on an adventure together. So you need a more exciting robot book, like this one. Those robots don't look very friendly at all. And this is War of the Worlds, which classically does not have very friendly robots in it. Having a nice, familiar best friend along makes being alone less scary. That's why I need this book. Yes, I need my best friend around too, so I can have a quiet world no matter what mischief the twins are making. And they are making a lot of mischief here. There are so many worlds. Nope. There are so many books with so many worlds in them. Maybe this one could be your best friend? Offering a book called Rodent Behaviors. What about this one for you? Offering a book called History of Science Fiction. But they find no pictures. How am I supposed to imagine what happens? What a disappointment, a book with no pictures. When I'm with this book, I'm never bored or lonely. Being lonely is the worst part. Well, how about this book? You can build yourself a whole new robot friend. How about a book with all the other kinds of mice to keep you company? I feel lonely even in a crowd without my best friend. Having to make new friends is scary, isn't it? Yes, but so is being alone, right? I think I was forgetting my favorite part of this book. Oh yeah, the best part of this book. 
is how Robot and Mouse become best friends. Even though Mouse is small and quiet, and Robot is big and loud, in this book they understand each other. That's the best part. So, do you think we can have more than one best friend? It seems possible for books, so it should be possible for us. And you can see, all of these people are meeting this new book. And they all seem to be, you know, having a very good, very good close introduction there. This book is my best friend. This book is my best friend, too. And best friends read together. I love happy endings. Me, too. And there, each of them have a parent coming to pick them up. And it looks like that friendship is going to continue even after they leave the library. Thank you for reading along with me. I really hope you meet a lot of wonderful new books that become all kinds of your best friends. Maybe some of them you don't love as much and they become your worst friends. But I hope that all of them become a part of you. And I hope you meet a lot of really interesting people through your love of books. Mm -hmm.